Hey there guys, so last time we pretty much ended up looking at Skyrim, it was just to see some visual enhancement mods and to see how the game itself would just perform with 16 gigabytes of RAM and I was really impressed with the overall result that we got out of that. So I decided I really wanted to push this HP Pavilion 15 to its limits with Skyrim. Now this isn't a slouch of a system by any means, a 6 core 12 threaded CPU is nothing to scoff at, but the Radeon 7 iGPU isn't exactly amazing, but it is one of the best iGPUs available on the market right now. Emphasis on the available since AMD 6000 series U processors don't seem to be on any systems whatsoever. So taking a look at what it's actually doing here, what we're running is this mod collection that you can get off of the Nexus mods page where it was essentially just labeled as next gen Skyrim and it's just a bunch of visual enhancement mods to try to give it a improved visual experience and as you can see here it definitely succeeded at that we do have an enb installed and overall the performance that we're getting here and keep in mind in game the graphics settings are set to low but of course we have a bunch of visual enhancement mods on top of that and even with a setting set like that visually speaking this looks great this looks like what you actually would think skyrim special edition would look like this feels like a proper remaster unfortunately at neither the 15 watt tdp or the 25 watt tdp really manages to salvage this at all it looks great it performs terribly it is completely a rough experience all around here and i don't really see how we would be able to salvage it here at least at 1080p because even if we go all the way up to 30 watts we see pretty much no meaningful uplifts whatsoever okay well that's not true if you pay attention to the one percent lows they are now within pretty much two frames of the averages that we're getting here which means it is the most consistent this is going to be the most consistent terrible experience you could possibly ever have i really just would not recommend even attempting to try this at least at 1080p no settings whatsoever are going to get you anything doable of course things change a lot when you drop the resolution down to 720p the reason for that is that we still keep a lot of the enhancements of the visuals we have the improved textures we have the improved lighting we have just increased detail to everything we're still running at the low in-game graphics settings but at 720p we're actually getting a frame rate that is not terrible and one percent lows that actually aren't awful compared to what our averages are and if we look at those frame time charts i mean considering where we were at before this is damn near incredible this essentially means that if you have a handheld device that you could just push 30 watts of power to like a steam deck imagine if the steam deck you know if you could just feed a system like that hell even because the steam deck is more powerful than this it is it has fewer cpu cores that does doesn't matter the cores that it does have are the same ipc as this but the igpu is better so now imagine what you could potentially do with a steam deck now i'm wondering if the tdp would be limiting in some way but even then i'm pretty sure even with its reduced tdp it's going to do really really well in this. i mean if we're doing this good here it might not be out of the question to be able to do at least something like 45 to 50 fps while trying this I, I would love to see this run on RDNA too because I'm kind of blown away at how well it was doing here. Like, because this, this looked decent enough. I mean, I, if I paid attention, I could see that, yeah, the resolution being this low does make it certain aspects of it kind of rough and because we do have the in-game graphics set too low we do have issues where you know you got the grass popping in and stuff like that there are fixes for it but they do impact performance though very very slightly but it is one of those things where depending on what igpu you have it could be a problem this is one of the fastest igpus you can get on the market and i don't mean fastest in a huge way where it's not like this is going to be like i, I would hesitate to recall this again gaming cpu or anything like that i mean it's literally just meant to go into just cheap little system but it is surprisingly capable as you can see by the fact that this is at least able to do a heavily modded version of skyrim special edition and we're getting a 30 fps average you know and not even just a 30 fps average we're in the mid 30s with one percent lows that are at 30 which means we're gonna have a very very consistent 30 fps average now is that incredible no what is incredible is how this looks and 
comparison to Skyrim on any console that anybody grew up playing this on. Even Skyrim Special Edition. If you played Skyrim Special Edition on a console, it did not look this good. Now, I did try to turn up the in-game graphics settings to see if we could maybe, you know, sacrifice a bit of performance just to see what that would actually end up doing visually speaking. And the results were a little mixed. I don't know if this was a setting with the ENB that I was using or something that I had to toggle off in the in-game graphics settings, but there was this noticeable just god ray type bloom to everything that really really made it hard to see anything from a distance just in general i did not like this effect at all it really just made looking at everything really really rough it made everything have this softness to it it just personally did not look good to me at all i do really like what the interiors ended up looking like though i mean this this looks so good and i'm so impressed by how well this runs now we are at the 30 watt tdp and if you look at those temperatures they are looking rough i really don't recommend playing like this but it is doable unfortunately dropping down the wattage to 25 watts is going to hurt those one percent lows this is about as good as you can realistically make the experience but this is also with the medium graphic setting and i would recommend you just drop those down to low turn on these visual mods run at 25 watt tdp and have a great time but in general i'm just blown away that a 500 system can play modded skyrim like this because i i think there's a lot of people out there that are more than willing to accept 720p to get a amazing skyrim experience but anyways i hope you guys found this video useful or interesting i've been doing a bit more modding videos i mean we've done two on minecraft and two on skyrim already but it's just one of those things where it's just oh and also the one for fallout new vegas but it's just one of those things where i really just enjoy this aspect of it and it makes the testing aspects really interesting especially when you can just look back and reflect at what the hardware was around at that time and just thinking that a cheap little system is able to do this on a already more intense version of skyrim than what was available when the game first launched because i mean this is special edition but if you found this video useful be sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next one